Okay, we've modeled our data. We've attached the data to a collection. We've made sure that the models and collections each have their own views. We've constructed page elements, and we've created templates where we can place our data. We now need to add some data. inside of flowerapp.js. Now, in the last movie, we created a collection view called app. It was a really, really powerful part of the collection view. All it needs to get going is some model data. which I'll grab from snippets.txt. So go over there, and I'm going to highlight and copy lines 117 to 119, and go back to flowerapp.js, and I'm going to place them directly at the bottom. So on line 27, I'm creating a new instance of my app.offflowers view, which is a collection view, and assigning it to a variable named flower group view. Since this is a collection view, I have to assign it an actual collection. And I'm doing that inside of these parentheses at the end of the code where it says collection colon flower group. Flower group is the array of model instances we created in the last chapter, and we can see it now on line 23. So by attaching this collection to my quite powerful collection view, I've triggered a sequence that throws my model content into some article tags and package them inside a template. Now I need to put this package template with all my model images and all my model colors and all my model prices onto a web page. The template is wrapped up inside a script tag and browsers can't turn that into HTML. So I need to execute the code on line 29. Here, jQuery is targeting the element with an ID of all flowers that I added to index.html at the beginning of this chapter. The .html method will load whatever's happening inside of this set of parentheses here. Let's look at what's happening in these parentheses. Let's open up this page in Google Chrome and find out. There it is, a visual representation of my model data. We see the images for the three models, along with their prices and colors and name. Now to see how these page tags were rendered, we need to look at the elements panel inside of Chrome Developer Tools. So I need to go to View, Developer, Developer Tools, and I need to select the Elements tab. So yes, everything is inside of all flowers. We see that it contains all our article tags. The article tags contain all the content I configured using my template. Yes, everything looks great. So we've done a pretty good job of using backbone views to render content, but I'm really only scratching the surface of what views can do. For that, check out the official Backbone documentation at backbonejs.org. It spends quite a bit of time detailing all the different methods and properties available to views.